welcome to another video tutorial for the Apache Guacamole series. Today we'll be working on Apache Guacamole 1.5.2 and we'll be learning how to install the last um, Apache Guacamole uh, extension that we'll be talking about for this series. So we'll be talking about the Quick Connect extension which helps you make connections to servers, be it a, a remote desktop or, um, sorry, servers and services, be it remote desktop service, um, VNC or SSH without having to already create the connection. So as we all know, um, when you first set up your Apache Guacamole, uh, you don't see any connections and there's no way you can make connections until you go into your settings and connections and create connections for user to be able to connect. So we're going to install um, the ad hoc um, connection extension, which you can use to connect directly to servers by entering setting commands here in the um, Apache Guacamole UI or web user interface. So um, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, go into um, Apache Guacamole and you want to go into the downloads page and you want to download um, the version of the extension that you're using. So in this case, we're using 1.5.2 and here is the quick uh, connect authentication um, extension. You just want to click on that, download it, and then open it. And what we're most concerned about is the uh, jar file. Okay. So once you have that open, um, you want to connect using uh, SFTP or um, connect in a way that you can be able to transfer files to your uh, Apache Guacamole server. In this case, it is a virtual machine. So we are using SFTP and you want to be able to change your directory to um, you want to be able to go into the uh, uh, ETC guacamole and extensions uh, folder or um, directory like we always do to copy these extensions and you just want to put that extension that we downloaded in there. So once we have that in there and we make sure that it is in there, all you need to do is now restart the um, Apache Guacamole service. Um, so restart WACD and also we're just going to restart Tomcat as well. And once we do that, and if you go back to your Guacamole instance on the web UI and you try to log in, once you log in, you can now see that we are presented with um, a little option here to be able to enter a connection URI and it gives us the option to connect. Okay, so going back to the documentation, um, Apache Guacamole's documentation is pretty thorough and they always have a lot of information on how to do certain things within your instance. So in this case, one of the commands you can use, for example, to connect to an SSH server is using the SSH um, uh, command SSH and then you use the uh, column and two uh, dashes and that should um, um, uh, help you connect to SSH using um, the host name or the IP address. So we're just going to go back to a guacamole instance and we're going to do the command and try to connect to a specific SSH server on our network. And there you see we are presented with the login page where we'll enter our username and our password and we were able to successfully log on onto the server using a SSH without creating a connection like we would normally do in Apache Guacamole, okay? Um, just to let you know that once you sign out and sign back in, this connection right here is gonna disappear, okay? Let me just do it again um, so you can see what I mean. Now it's gone. Um, but then you can connect again if you wanted to, 
Um, so this is another way you can use to be able to connect to multiple things on your network without having to save every connection. So you can save, you can still go into your settings and save connections. Uh, maybe if you had users who you want them to connect to specific things without having to bother about um, IP addresses and uh, authentication and so forth. Um, but then if you wanted to connect to some other device in your network that isn't added as a connection, you can use the quick connect option to do that. Um, the same goes for um, VNC. You just have to include the port number. Uh, the same goes for Windows. Windows is a little bit longer, or uh, RDP, sorry, it's a little bit longer because you have to do the username and um, the IP address and then you set the security and all that options. This brings us to the end of this uh, video for how to install uh, the Guacamole Quick Connect extension. Uh, if you have any questions specific to this video or any of my other videos, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, please do not forget to like the channel and please subscribe. Have a great day.